This is me on the night of my high school prom. I was 18. I had the world at my feet. And I felt really beautiful that day. And then this is me just three years later. It should have been the happiest day of my life, but I was three months pregnant and walking down the aisle with a man I knew I should never have married. I was seven and a half months pregnant when he wrapped his hands around my throat and squeezed as tightly as he could, telling me to die, you, C word, die. Then I heard this terrifying voice. It was, it was mine, but it wasn't me. It was like this horror film rasping sound squeezed out on my final breaths of air, begging for my life. Please, God, please, I'm not ready. I'm never going to see my unborn child. And then a white tunnel of light closed in around me. I knew I was about to die. Sorry. I didn't die that day. <laughs> I'm here. But it did take one year and more abuse before I finally found the courage to leave for good. I packed my baby boy and only what I could fit into my car and I just fled for my life. And I thought that leaving an abusive relationship was the end of it all, but it was just the beginning of a painful journey to recovery because I had to ask myself the difficult questions. Why had I stayed when others would have run a mile? Why did I ignore those red flags and warning signs right at the start? And what I found was this frightened little girl inside me. I never even knew she was there. A little girl who never felt good enough, that somehow I deserved the abuse. I was unworthy of anything better. And I'm not alone. A Dove self-esteem study of more than 10,000 girls in 13 countries has revealed that seven in 10 young girls today don't think they're good enough. And this is a narrative that impacts our adult lives in many negative ways. Not feeling good enough leads you to put others' needs first at the expense of your own and into dysfunctional relationships. You, you make bad choices and decisions based on fear. You fear vulnerability. You fear that others will find you out and reject you because of it. So you protect yourself from others seeing who you really are. You say yes when you really want to say no. And your boundaries are weak, so others take advantage of you and push them down. But this story that we grow up to believe in is just that. It's a story. It doesn't mean it's true. You can rewrite it. You can change that negative internal script. The power to create the life I wanted was inside me all along. I realised I couldn't control or change anyone or anything else outside of me, but I could change me. If I nurtured that frightened little girl inside me and found self-love, then I'd heal. I woke up to the truth. I am enough. And with a new high sense of self-esteem, I forged a successful career in television and found the love of my life who's sitting there with me today. <laughs> and this is me on my second wedding day. His glasses are a little bit smaller now, <laughs> but we've celebrated 30 years. Knowing and believing I was good enough changed my life, and it's key to everything. It's loving yourself as much as you want others to love you, finding self-confidence enough to say no when you deserve better, and setting strong boundaries. It's finding happiness within you, no matter what the day brings. So put your needs first and ask yourself this question about any decision you make. Is this good enough for me? True to my core values, beliefs, and goals. Know you are good enough and you'll feel powerful, not vulnerable, and happier than you've ever been. Love yourself enough to dare to create the limitless life you dream of and become the person you were born to be. Thank you.